You guys remember at in Pirates of the Caribbean at World's End when that one Jack Sparrow pulls out his own brain and starts licking it and whatnot? That's exactly what you're going to feel like when you're about 20 minutes in this movie. Oh man, this movie! Ratatouille. No, not Ratatouille from Pixar. It's just basically, it's rip-off. It's, it's one cousin that we don't like to talk about. That's what it is. Now, I've always heard about these rip-off movies that Disney seems to have all the time, and this movie is clear proof that it is all real. It is true. Because in about, in about 10 minutes in this movie, I have absolutely no idea what the heck I am watching. I can actually sum up this whole review in just a few words. The CGI, horrible. The script, worse than the CGI. The characters, I don't know who they are. What's the story about? I don't know. What are they doing? I don't know. Is there a point to all this? I don't know. It seems like part Ratatouille movie, part uh, uh, Mission Impossible movie, and part Tom and Jerry cartoon because, oh man, summon, summoning it up in like 40 minutes must have been a monstrosity. But then again, but then again, I sat through this thing and, um, and my head still hurts. Uh, it really does hurt. You see, what it goes at, it instead of taking place in um, in Paris, France, as Ratatouille did, this one takes place in Rio de Janeiro in South America, yet none of them have a, Mex uh, have a Mexican accent or just a Spanish-speaking accent or whatnot like people do have down there. And everyone really likes this place called Ratatouille. All these rats here like the food, and their food looks gross, but they say it's fresh and whatnot. And then you find out that the that the kitchen guys and this one rat chick who I swear to god they worked more on her body than they did the rest of this movie and they go through this one little hole into an actual human kitchen and start stealing fresh fruit fresh fresh food sorry guys this movie's got my brain all rumbled up so if I'm slurring all over the place that is why so they go to this human kitchen start stealing some food bringing it back to their restaurant so they can do fresh ingredients. And then these spies show up, these four rat spies show up and find out how they're gonna get their how they get their food. So they go to that kitchen, mess things up, and shenanigans ensue, and there's this cat who I swear is a nightmare to look at. Uh, can you see how I'm just rambling through this thing? I just want this review over and done with. I honestly have no idea what the heck is even going on in this movie because most of the time it's focusing on this video game looking monstrosity of these rats doing things, and then there's these segments where they're just putting on gear, putting on these things, and there's white all around, cameras zooming in around them, and then there's this other group of rats, the spies, who uh, go through this whole dance scene, and it is not good. Guys, in the end, Ratatouille, it, it's a monstrosity. It's one of those rip-offs that you're just gonna sweep under the rug and hopefully forget about. And I'm gonna have nightmares of this thing later on tonight. So I gotta say, this movie is trash. And also, I gotta give a little shout-out to one of the people that, uh, that actually um, told me about reviewing this movie. Apparently, her friend wanted me to review this movie and whatnot, and so I watched it, and I gotta say, yeah, no, that, that's funny, guys. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> I sat through this thing. Well, now you know that I actually made it through this thing, and now you got my opinion. So, guys, Ratatouille, have you seen it? What did you think about it? Whatever you thought, comment below, let me know, and I'll see you in the next video.